Hello, today I'm going to talk about the Windows Snipping Tool. So the Windows Snipping Tool is a screen capture utility. Some of you might be familiar with the print screen button, it's kind of similar to that. Uh, some of you might have other screen capture tools, and those are just fine. There's no compelling reason to use the Windows, Windows Snipping Tool other than anyone with Windows has it. And when I mean anyone, I mean anyone with Windows Vista or above, which these days is getting to be a pretty large majority. On the Mac, you don't have a Windows snipping tool. I'm sure you have other, some other cool screen capture utility. You just have to figure out what it is. So let me show you what the snipping tool is. So me, uh, on my campus where I work, we just happen to have the snipping tool pinned to the start menu. So I just click on it. And then the snipping tool is kind of weird. Notice how my screen got grayed out and I have this weird little window here. This is telling me, hey, you're about to make a snip. And so what you should usually do is pull this down and see what kind of snip you're going to make. So I'm going to do a full screen snip, not because I ever do those, but because I will, just to kind of show you what it does. So I click that button, and notice now I'm in this larger snipping tool window, but notice my entire desktop is in there. So it took a picture of everything that was on my screen, and this is really weird looking for me because I have dual screens. I was kind of surprised it actually goes dual screens. But anyways, that's a picture of everything I had on my screen. So that's, a, that's like a print screen. That's a photograph of everything that was showing on my monitor. I don't actually want a full screen snip, those are kind of annoying usually. The one that I particularly like is a rectangular snip. So when you click on rectangular, you're just sitting here and it's waiting for you to click and drag. So if I wanted to just have my son in this picture, I would click and drag around my son. And when I let go, you can see the part of the screen that was highlighted is the thing that I essentially kind of cut into this strange little window. Let me do a couple more just to show you. So say I want to get this whole area. And so now you can see what a screen capture utility is for. It's for just taking a picture of what's displaying on your screen. So this can be really good for communicating with people via email. And there are some times when this is just the only way where you can actually take a picture of what's going on on your computer. Right? I mean, how do you explain what's happening? Oftentimes taking a picture is a much better way to do it. And every time you click new, it kind of throws away that old snip and you have other options. So full screen's usually kind of huge. Windows sometimes is good. Freeform's a strange little guy. I mean, that's if you want to try and cut out a particular thing. Right, maybe there's a time and a place for that, but I don't know of one. So rectangular snips. And so what do you do with them? So here's my picture. You can see why I'd want to do that. It's kind of like cropping on the fly. So once you've got a snip, it's worthless. I mean, I just took a picture of it. It goes into this weird little menu. From here, it's my job to do something with it. So one thing I could do with it would be to file, save as. And then I can take this picture and I can save it somewhere, and then I can send that to someone else later. Possibly a more common thing you'll do is I've got this picture here, and I might want to edit copy and uh, new document, paste it somewhere else. So when you take a snip, it goes to the snipping tool menu here, and it's your job to either save it and do something with it, or to simply paste it. And pasting is what I end up doing more often, like in the body of an email, or maybe I'm going to put it in a Word document. As I mentioned, there's many different screen capture utilities. I'm just talking about the Windows Snipping Tool, because I teach classes that generally use Windows, and we all have the Snipping Tool, so that's what it is. Just for fun, just because we're right here. Let me show you another snipping tool. If you're wondering what this bright little sun is up here in the corner, this is another snipping tool, and frankly, I think it's better. This is called Jing, right? And I don't know, maybe you think that's a nicer looking thing, but I just wanted to show you that there's multiple ways to capture images. If you're a Mac user, you're gonna have to use your own snipping tool, or it won't be called a snipping tool, it'll be some kind of screen capture utility. Windows snipping tool is actually uh, not one of the better ones I've used, but it's one that everybody has. So whatever you want to use is fine, but now you know how to use a screen capture utility. Uh, what will you use them for? I don't have the answer to that, but there's going to come a time and a place when it's going to be the appropriate tool for the task. Thanks for watching.